For this exercise, I want all of us to use the same font. And a good way to achieve that is to have each of you go to fonts.google.com. Now, I've already been on the site, but basically, you would just have to type in fonts.google.com, press return. Likely, you'll show up on a page that looks very much like this. You can change the size of the examples. Here, I went ahead and I have added tone plus manner. Evidently, the plus sign doesn't show up, so if you want, you could type in tone and manner. And you'll note that you can search if you know the name. You can do a custom search. Uh, you can view uh, categories, language, font properties, whatnot. Okay, so we're going to use Roboto, and we're going to use Roboto because it's a simple sans serif font, and there are 12 styles available to us within this family, which is nice. So let's go ahead and select Roboto, and then of course you can change the example size here, and you can select individual styles and add them to your list. I believe if uh, you click here, you'll be able to see which you have added and you can download. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this, close, and you can also see the glyphs. Now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see this a bit better. And what I might do is a screen capture. Um, on a Mac, it's Command Shift 3 to capture the entire screen, Command Shift 4, and you can capture just by clicking and dragging over whatever you want, and that image will show up as a PNG on your desktop. Now, if you're using a PC and you haven't done screen captures, then there might be applications. I believe if you do a search, there are ways, there are key commands for capturing your uh, screen also with uh, Windows. But depending on your operating system, you'll have to research the best way to do that. All right, so we can also get at about, and we can learn a bit about the um, designer of this font. And I am also going to create a screen capture. We have license information, and we also have popular pairings. And you can do this with all the different fonts. And what this allows you to do is basically get a visual for pairing your font family with a different font family, which is pretty common for headlines, subheads, and body copy. Now in this exercise, we're going to use Roboto for everything. But this might be a helpful tool for those that need a little assistance in selecting their fonts. And you can mix and match these, so you can ex uh, experiment a bit with this uh, pairings tool. But it can, uh, it can be pretty useful. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to download the entire font family. Now, I've already done this before, but we'll do it again. And this will show up as a zip file, likely in your download folder. So I'm going to hide Chrome and in my downloads, there's my Roboto zip file. We can open this up. We can open Roboto and you can select the files or the styles you want to install. So I'm going to select all of them. If you double click, they will install into your operating system and then they will be available for use in your application. So it might be a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and close this and then I'm keeping everything organized inside this exercise one videos. This is the folder I'm using to create the um, exercise demonstration. And you'll notice I've already placed the zip file for Roboto and I also have my Roboto folder. 
so I have these um, available to me for later use or later access. All right, so get Roboto, install Roboto into your operating system.